This video is about adding fractions with letters in them. We know that we can add fractions with a common denominator simply by adding the numerators and keeping the denominator the same. So, 1 over 8 plus 5 over 8 is 6 over 8. We also know that we should check if we can simplify this fraction. We can. 6 over 8 is 3 over 4. Similarly, if we have 3 over x plus 2 over x, since the denominator is the same, we can simply add the numerators together, keep the denominator, and have our results. We have to do some more work with fractions like 5 over 6 plus 3 over 8, because these two fractions do not have a common denominator. In order to find the, a common denominator, we're going to look at the least common multiplier of 6 and 8. The least common multiplier of 6 and 8 is 24. So, we have to make the denominators 24. And in order to do so, we'll look at 24 divided by 6 is 4. So, in order to get the denominator 24, we have to multiply 6 with 4. Well, if we multiply the denominator with 4, we have to multiply the numerator as well. The other fraction, we have to multiply 8 with 3 to get 24. So we have to multiply 3 and with 3 as well. We then get the fractions 20 over 24 plus 9 over 24, which is the same as 29 over 24 or 1 plus 5 over 24. The same trick we're going to use when letters are involved. For instance, when we have the fraction 2 over 3x and we want to add 4 over x, first of all we have to look at the least common multiplier of, in this case, 3x and x, and that is simply 3x. So the first fraction we can keep as 2 over 3x, but the other fraction we have to multiply the numerator and denominator with 3, so we'll get 12 over 3x. Adding these two together we get 14 over 3x. We cannot simplify this as 14 is not divisible by 3, so this is our answer. This example needs a little, even a little more work. 2 over 3a plus 5 over 6b. We need to find the lowest common multiplier of 3a and 6b. And in order to do that, we have to see that 3a is simply 3 times a. 6b is 2 times 3 times b. We wrote 6 down as a product of prime factors, 2 times 3. So we know that the lowest common multiplier should include 3 times a. It should also include 2 times 3 times b. Well, there's already a 3 in here, so we have that one fixed. But the 2 and the b we should still include, so times 2 times b. So now it is divisible by 3 times a, and this is divisible by 2 times 3 times b. So this is the lowest common multiplier, which is 6ab. We'll have to figure out what we need to do with the denominators to get 6 times a times b. Well, 3a we have to multiply with 2b, so 3a times 2b. And we have to multiply 2 with 2b as well. And the other fraction, we have to multiply 6b with a, so we have to multiply 5 with a as well. This gives us the fractions 4b over 6ab 
plus 5a over 6 times ab. Or adding them together is 5a plus 4b over 6 times ab. In summary, when you want to add two fractions together with a non-common denominator, you first have to find the least common multiplier of the two denominators, and then make sure both fractions have that denominator. And when you've done that, you can add them together. Please check in the end whether you can simplify the fraction or not, and then you should be done.